What's up everybody? Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. Wish you again a very very happy new year 2018. I hope and pray and wish good for everybody who is watching this video and for this entire universe. All right. Today's topic is very beautiful to be discussed on a new year's day because most of the people in this world are suffering from this problem. What is that problem? Yes, yes, yes. You saw it right. It's depression. Oh my God. So depressing. Depression in the new year. <laughs> Let's not behave like an ostrich and hide our heads inside the ground and say that, Oh my God, it's a new year. It's such a great time. No. People are suffering from depression. So new year is perhaps the best time to talk about depression. Yes, because new year means that we should take steps in a way that we are able to deal with our deepest problems, with our deepest insecurities. And among them, the biggest is probably depression, apart from other disorders, apart from other mental issues which people have. All right, if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed in 2017, then in 2018, you must subscribe. <laughs> And if you want a consultation, then please approach me in my website below. In the links, it is there somewhere. And if you have any questions, queries or comments regarding this video or any other video, then please let me know. I will answer it. And if you want me to make any other video, then also let me know. All right. And before beginning, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will come and help you get out of depression. All right. So today's topic is depression. Very depressing, right? In the new year to talk of depression. Well, when I speak of depression, when you go and Google how to avoid depression, how to get rid of depression, you will see so many things. You should do this, you should do that. But I'm not going to talk of any of those things here. What if I tell you depression is not bad? What if I tell you depression is the best thing that can happen to you? What if I tell you, don't see this as a disease? You'll be like, oh my God, what is this person speaking? Throw him out of YouTube. He doesn't deserve to make videos. <laughs> He's a madman. He's telling that depression is good. My God, kill this person. You'll say like that, right? No, no, don't worry. I will tell you what I mean when I say that depression is good. If you go to the age old Vedic scriptures like the Rama and the Mahabharata, you will also see that. Great personalities like Yudhishthir Maharaj, Arjuna, Draupadi, Dhruva Maharaj, Prahlad Maharaj, all these great personalities including Hanumanji, they are also in depression. And Kunti Devi, who is the mother of the Pandavas in the Srimad Bhagavatam, if you read her prayers, if a psychiatrist listens to what she is praying, then the psychiatrist will tell her, Madam, I think you need to get admitted to my clinic as soon as possible because there's some serious problem with you. Because you'll be baffled, you'll be surprised, you'll be astonished to read the prayers of Queen Kunti which is there in the Srimad Bhagavatam. I'll come to depression later but let's talk of Kunti here first. Kunti had seen those things in her life which probably no lady would ever want to see. She saw the death of her husband, Pandu. And that too, it was a very premature death. He was very young that time when he died. But after that also, when the Pandavas came to Hastinapur, the five Pandavas, they were always surrounded by controversies. Yes, they were always surrounded by schemes hatched against them. To be killed by the Kurus, by Duryodhana, by Karana, by Dushasan, by Shakuni. These four primary culprits. So Kunti, as a widow, had to see all this. And then her daughter-in-law, Draupadi, she was insulted in public by Dushasana, by Duryodhana, by Karana, by Shakuni. And then the king, the Dharashtra, does not say anything. 
this lady had seen all these things my goodness i don't know how she survived but if you read the queen kunti prayers in shrimad bhagavatam you will be like oh my god this lady is seriously mad queen kunti is praying i will not read out the shlokas because that will take some time i will tell you the essence of what queen kunti prays in the shrimad bhagavatam queen kunti prays my dear lord krishna please give me more of calamities give me more of difficulties give me more of challenges my goodness and she's praying this after the kurukshetra war is over where everybody was slaughtered except the pop five pandavas nobody survived <laughs> after that state even the sons of pandavas they also perished all five of them and their grandson somehow survived parikshit maharaj somehow survived by lord krishna's grace when all of when your husband is dead your grandsons are dead your entire dynasty is finished the only person remaining was parikshit maharaj who was arjuna's grandson so that time to speak give me more calamities that requires some substance now if a psychiatrist reads this then she will say that oh queen queen kunti is a victim of inferiority complex right yes but no she is not in fact she is directly the opposite she is in such a high level of spiritual consciousness that she feels she says in the bhagavatam she says apunar bhava darshanam she says that if you give me two options oh lord krishna if you give me two options and you tell me which one of these would you choose the first option is i always be happy in my materialistic life which means everything is fine i'm getting money my marriage is going great my children are great the neighbors are great everybody is good everything is nice and i do not remember you i forget you but everything else is fine all right that is one option and the other option is there are calamities people are dying in my family everybody is dead as which happened in her case but with that i am constantly remembering you i am not forgetting you so if i am given these two options i will select the second one my god this is too much so queen kunti is also in depression depression means she always feels that she is not able to spiritually connect to lord krishna in a in the most perfect way she always feels like that she always feels that she is lacking in something all right then we have yudhishthir maharaj the greatest of the great his name was ajat chatru ajat chatru means one who has no enemies one who is loved unanimously by all nowadays there are people na, undisputed champion he was the only undisputed champion to have ever lived all right he is the emblem he is the symbol he is the epitome the pinnacle the crest jewel of all religious principles he is the one who was such a strict follower he was the best of all the pandavas <laughs> so yudhishthir maharaj he is also in depression if you read the mahabharat he is in depression because he feels he is not able to do justice to his citizens he feels he is not a good king he feels like that yeah he feels like that he is in depression because of that he feels that he is not executing religious principles properly in his kingdom yeah he actually feels like that and the same feeling is with the other person his brothers who is his brothers yes arjuna arjuna also feels that he is not able to carry on his duties as a chatriya as a king as a royal member of the family yes when he is actually the perfect he is like best of the best his name is falguni one of arjuna's name is falguni which means perfect in everything he was the most handsome prince out there he was the most intelligent most loving most respectful most caring most kind 
he was a dancer also my god he was a singer he was the best of the archers there was nobody parallel to him in the battlefield of kurukshetra he was invincible arjuna has never tasted defeat in his life never ever by anybody and this person also feels that he is not executing his duties properly go to another example we have the example of draupadi who was the combined wife of all the five pandavas due to some reasons of her past lifetime when she asked lord shiva that i want a husband who is perfectly religious who is the most strongest who is the most handsome who is most knowledgeable and who is most humble so lord shiva said impossible these five traits cannot come in one person so you'll have five husbands tathastu <laughs> so that is why there's a lesson for women and for men be careful when you ask are you sure you can handle it <laughs> because god may throw the bomb but if you cannot handle then things can go haywire okay anyways now if you read the mahabharat there is a description that this lady draupadi she used to get up before her five husbands would get up she used to even get up before kunti used to get up kunti used to get up and then the pandavas will get up one by one but draupadi was the one who used to get up even before kunti and then the pandavas will carry on their activities throughout the day and then they will go to sleep then kunti when she sees that oh my sons are sleeping then she will go to sleep and when draupadi sees that kunti has also slept then she will go to sleep yeah she will get up before everybody gets up and she will sleep after everybody sleeps whenever draupadi used to cook she used to divide the food into two parts all right one part was exclusively for bhima bhima was one of the pandavas he was giant he was herculean uh, bhima's name is vrikodara means one whose belly is very big which means he can digest anything so whenever they used to cook half of it used to be for bhima and then the from the remaining half they used to make it into how many parts four parts for the remaining four pandavas apart from bhima and then kunti and then draupadi so what they used to do is draupadi will make food half she will give to bhima then the remaining half she will divide into four parts and she will give to the pandavas and then the pandavas will eat and whatever would remain after they would eat that kunti would eat yes <laughs> and after kunti finished her lunch if something would remain that draupadi would eat my goodness now these people are like oh reserve my plate na i want to eat first na i want first my goodness so draupadi is also concerned she also is depressed because she feels that she is not able to execute her duties like a wife or like a daughter in law of the family should execute so she is also in depression the an- another person who is in depression is hanuman yes in the ramayan if you read he gets depressed many times he feels he is not able to offer service to lord ram properly yes he is depressed you don't believe me go and read the ramayan he feels there is always something lacking in his service which in hindi in sanskrit is known as seva he always feels that i could have done much better than this but damn bang on i didn't do next time i will do if only i get another chance i will not miss it this time i will make lord ram more happier the next time then i made him this time how can i do it that is all his concern is all right so if you read the scriptures you will understand that all the great personalities they are in depression but the only difference is the object of their depression is different that depression which comes because of wanting to go close to god follow religious principles that depression will give you the highest level of fulfillment highest level of happiness see queen kunti is telling better than me forgetting you o krishna and having everything else of this world i would prefer to live in a hellish condition but always remember you 
and this kunti is praying after the kurukshetra war is has come to a halt the war has ended the slaughter has finished nobody has remained apart from the pandavas so after that she speaks these verses yes so there you go if somebody tells you that depression is bad tell them that no 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 depression is not bad the problem with depression is we get depressed because of wrong reasons we are depressed why oh this girl left me this boy left me <laughs> so many people they call me and say oh my son is not picking my phone now he is not responding to me now we are old now he doesn't value us so they are depressed because the son is not reciprocating somebody is depressed because their father their daughter ran away and married a person from a different religion so these are the reasons why people are getting depressed so when you are depressed because of material reasons you will be the most miserable person alive there will be no poorer person than you you will be the worst of the beggars even if you are a millionaire it doesn't matter that is why so many people commit suicides so many people are in depression in drugs addicts pornography prostitution these are all different kinds of refuge which people take because they are depressed for the wrong reasons yes even the great surdas he also says thani so gayo nis din barasat nayan hamare which means he says the gopis of vrindavan they are telling to lord krishna that since the time you have left vrindavan it is only rainy season for us we are crying day and night relentlessly incessant tears are going from our eyes without there's no halt it's going 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 all the time from the time you have left vrindavan we have been devastated completely when will you come back that is the only reason we are still alive in vrindavan otherwise we would have left our bodies long back so the gopis of vrindavan are also in depression <laughs> queen kunti is in depression she she is in super depression super duper hyper depression draupadi is also in depression yudhishthir is also in depression hanuman is also in depression arjuna is in depression prahlad maharaj is in depression he says in the 7th canto of the bhagavatam that i have wasted my years in my childhood <laughs> playing with people and wasting time but that's contradiction because when he was 5 year old nursing dev appeared and protected him i mean at the age of 5 then he's telling that i have wasted my childhood that means for him the age of 5 is like oh my god you are too late for spirituality and then there are people especially in india i have seen in other countries also but especially in india i have seen because i am from india that the moment they see that when 2010 i had left eating meat they said oh spirituality and all this is good but this is not for the young people right? it's for the old people actually basically when your sons will throw you out of your home you will not be able to pass urine properly when you can't even digest anything when you can't see when you can't think when people will come and uh spit in your face na that's what happens to all people that is the time you should start thinking of god when you can't even think <laughs> now and pralad maharaj is telling i have wasted my childhood playing with friends so look at the level of depression he is in he is regretting and lamenting for the f- those 5 years which he le- which he lost but then the question is he was a great spiritual personality at the age of 5 how how did that happen <laughs> contradictions everywhere you see all right that is it from my side how to give up depression the answer is you don't have to give up depression depression is beautiful the only problem is when our object of depression is materialistic reasons materialistic persons the husband the wife the son the father the mother all right but when we become depressed in our inability to achieve god and to go close to him that depression becomes the highest level of fulfillment enjoyment happiness fun and everlasting peace and that nobody can take away from us okay so don't give up depression embrace depression but 
be depressed for the right reasons all right that is it from my side if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then subscribe somewhere here otherwise i will also get into depression <laughs> all right and if you want a consultation then approach me in my website okay and if you have any questions queries or comments for this video then let me know in the comments or if you want me to make any other video then also let me know all right and if you like this video click the thumbs up until next time wish you good luck with your depression <laughs> bye bye see you